today I'm going to share with you how this Android fan became an Apple girl. And I am a total convert. Hi friends, it's Mary from Aforementioned Thoughts. And today I wanted to stop by and share with you um, three reasons why as an Android fan, I became an Apple convert. This may not mean a lot to you. People go back and forth between Android and Apple all the time, uh, but this was actually a pretty big deal to me because not only did I like Android a lot, <laughs> I also really didn't like Apple a lot. Um, I didn't like Steve Jobs' philosophy um, behind the company at the time that he ran the company. I didn't like the price of Apple products. And I just really didn't like how you were forced into one tunnel with Apple. That is one of the many reasons I chose to stick with Android and um, the Google arena, that sort of thing. Um, I had a Chromebook that I used regularly. I had Android tablet. I had Android um, phones and things like that other than a brief stint when I went to Apple because um, I needed a cheap phone. I went to a very old iPhone um, for about six months and I was so excited to get my Android phone back. However, <laughs> about one to two years after that, I made the switch and I am now a primarily Apple girl. I still have an Android tablet that I use from time to time, but that is about it. So what made that switch? There were three major reasons um, that I switched from being an Android loyalist to an Apple girl. The first one was the hardware. This was pr probably the main reason that I switched from Android to Apple. I found that most of my Android phones failed. And when I say failed, I don't mean, oh, they got old, oh, they got dings, oh, they got uh, scratches. I'm not even saying that. I didn't have any issues with that. What I mean is that they completely failed. <laughs> So over my time of having about, I think I had a total of about five Android phones, if I'm remembering correctly. I only have one of them that will still even power on. I had one phone where the power button completely just stopped working. And if your power button doesn't work, what are you gonna do with that? You can't turn it on. I had a phone where the power supply completely stopped working. I had a phone and again, if you can't power up your phone, what are you going to do? I had phones where I had to get the battery replaced. Again, not, not something great, not something that makes your phone very usable. I had a phone where the camera lens got completely scratched despite um, being in a case, despite being babied. <laughs> it got completely fogged up and scratched. And there are about three or four months of my baby's life where all of the pictures that I took of her are foggy. Thankfully, they're not the first months of her life, but um, you kind of feel like you're looking through a foggy glass lens when you're looking at those photos. Thankfully, they did still take photos though. Um, I will say that. And that was an HTC phone and they did replace it, but that device also stopped working. The power button stopped working, I believe, or the power supply. I honestly can't remember which. And that is when I decided to make the move to Apple iPhone. So um, I made the switch to an Apple iPhone. I had had an iPad before um, that still worked. Um, I had the first iPad. And while it's, the software is not really updatable because the operating system is so far advanced. I can still use it. I still use it to watch YouTube videos in my kitchen. Um, I can still do other things on it, check my email, browse the web. It still works. I have an iPod that is, gosh, from 11 years ago. It still works. I have my old iPhone that I said I used for about six months and couldn't wait to get my Android back. It still works. I can still use it. Um, again, the operating system has moved uh, far beyond and that is one of the things that used to tick me off is that once your um, device was outdated by the operating system you couldn't really use the apps anymore um, at least not adding new apps because they would be far advanced but um, the fact is the apps on it still work and you can still download some past versions of the apps as well 
And that is one of the many reasons that I decided to go with an iPhone. It's not to say that iPhones can't fail. I know they can. It's not to say that iPhones might not have issues with their camera or issues with their system. I know they can, but the vast majority that I talked to of Apple users did not have the issues that I had personally with my Android phones and that other people that I knew that had Android phones had as well. That is one of the major reasons I went. I wanted something that worked. I wanted something that I didn't have to replace every six months to a year. I wanted something that would last the entire contract of my device. So <laughs> I decided to go to iPhone and then about six to eight months later, my Windows laptop was running so slow that I was unable to do my work on it anymore. And after much research, I decided to go to a MacBook Pro that I've been using for about a year now and it still works great. And then I decided to invest in my iPad Pro um, that I use for my paper plant, my paper digital planning. I also use for watching videos with my little girl, playing games with her. Um, I use for learning hand lettering and drawing, things like that. Um, I use this as my on-the-go tablet. In my regular rotation, while I do still have some of the older devices that don't work as well, in the Windows, Android, Chromebook world, I, on a regular basis, use my, um, my iPhone, my iPad Pro, and my MacBook, and I am a total convert. I also use an Android tablet from time to time, but um, it is more my spare. My next reason is, is the software availability. Now, I wanted to believe in Android so, so badly. With an Android, I love the fact that it was, the more power was given to the developers than um, the powerhouse of the company. I loved that. However, people did not develop for Android nearly as much as Apple. So if someone was going to be developing a program for one of the their first things, unless they were an Android faithful, you went iPhone first. And it makes sense. You know, you only have to develop for yeah, a couple of different looks and designs for an Apple product. Whereas with Android, you're designing for probably hundreds of different um styles of phones or tablet. I get it, but I was so frustrated at not being able to use some of the apps that everyone else was able to use. And while I didn't totally change because of that, it was one of the major advantages of having an iPhone. Um, I remember one of the first apps I used, which is now available on Android years later, um, but was Project Life. And it really changed my scrapbooking game and creating memory books for me and my family and I was so thankful to have that access months if not a year before uh, my Android friends. <laughs> so I was thankful that I did not have to wait as long as them. Now I will say one thing I totally miss about Android um, is the integration of um, widgets and things like that within um, the operating system. What's available on iPhone absolutely cannot compare. And I still like using my Android tablet way to easily view my calendar and my task list all on widgets on my page um, and put down special things to remember. If I could have the best of all of the worlds and use Android and have the um, positivity of the Apple side of the world, I would because I do think the software integration is better on Android and the widgets and other things available are better on Android, but it's not worth staying on Android for the other reasons. My final reason is, is the syncing capabilities of having all Apple products. Now, there are ways to sync devices within Android and Windows and Chromebook and I did that for the most part, but man, none of them work as seamlessly as the iCloud and Apple world. So if I am on my MacBook Pro doing work and I get a text message from someone on my phone, I don't have to have my phone even near me within arm's reach. I can get the text message and respond to it there. I can get notifications throughout all of my devices. Same with my iPad. and one thing I use almost daily is the airdrop feature. So if I take a picture or a video on my phone, I don't have to plug it in. I don't have to transfer it to another system or device. I just click airdrop and I can drop it to my MacBook Pro and use it easily there. 
Um, I can even do the same. At, it's something that's really changed my digital planning game is being able to drop photos to my iPad Pro and just copy and paste them into my planner. It is wonderful when things work, work seamlessly and I used to think I didn't care about it much but I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or just because things are not working as well otherwise but I am tired of tinkering and I am so glad that um, Apple products work so well together. So to me those three reasons alone make it worth the investment to go to Apple products <laughs> and I tell you I still sort of feel a cringe saying that because for so long I would have sworn the other way but I have been using Apple products like I said well over a year now it's just nice not to have to worry nearly as much or tinker with things nearly as much I do miss some things about Android and Windows and Chromebook and all of that but overall it is uh, going so much better for me and my life right now and for uh, my business to have all Apple products. I'm not saying that I'll stick with Apple forever. I'm done saying that I'm going to stick with one operating system forever. I did that for a while and clearly I was wrong. But for now, it is the way I've, that I need to go and that I would suggest you give a try if you have the money to invest in it. What's your opinion? Are you an Apple fan or an Android fan? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. If you would like to see more videos about paperless living and about digital tips and tricks, please be sure to subscribe. I'll have more videos like this in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.